Greetings, YouTube. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to say Happy Valentine's Day to you because I'm going to get that out of the way as a greeting before I kind of rip apart these bundles. And it's not that they're the worst things ever in the contest. We've seen worse. Here's looking at you. Tier 4 Basics and Tier 1 Alphas bundled together for 10 times their retail value in the past couple weeks. Multiple times in offers. This isn't that bad. But Valentine's Day... You know, it's supposed to be exciting. Maybe there's a lot of people out there watching this that don't have a Valentine. Well, hey, you know, save some money. <laughs> you can let MCOC be your Valentine, as depressing as that might sound. Uh, but, you know, generally, if I was running Kabam, Lord help me, if I was running the offer, I would want to give players guaranteed value on Valentine's Day. Because I also know, for the people that do have spouses or significant others, they're probably going to be spending a decent chunk of change on a date tonight and don't have the most disposable income that they would have normally during the year. So I want to give them some guaranteed value at a reasonable price to maybe entice them to spend some of that Valentine's Day money on the contest. I don't think that's too much to ask, you know? I think that's pretty reasonable. And so once again, we have this two different bundle offer geared towards a gamble, geared towards shaking the dice and seeing if you get a 20% drop rate. Only it's really weird this year because the main legendary romance crystal is the exact same thing you can get multiple times for free for just completing the content that entered the contest yesterday featuring Deadpool. And so to have the same crystal that you can get for free, even what, three of them? which is $120 apparently worth of value, and then to ask people the very next day, literally 24 hours after that content came live into the game, to ask people to spend $40 a piece on something they just got for free 24 hours before, unless I guess you're grinding for havoc, at which point maybe you can finally see the sunlight after three days. Uh, I just don't get it. And yeah, at least there's 2,500 five-star shards with each of these. And I know that much is going to be enticing for people who are doing everything they can to save up for Blade. And that makes sense. If you're doing all you can to save up for Blade, any shard you can get is going to be helpful because Blade, even now, is still that much of a game-changing champion uh, in the contest. If you think that Blade no longer has utility, I feel like you're not using him correctly. Or you don't have him awakened and you don't have that amazing 800 plus per tick regen that has saved me more units and potions and revives than I can count when I'm able to regen him, even from a level one health potion, so I never have to worry about using actual potions on my blade. But regardless, this could have been a home run. I think this bundle is a fair price for at the most $29.99 as is. But really, Kabam, if you wanted this to be amazing, Put this exact bundle at 20 bucks. Give us a 20% RNG or a one out of five chance to get that five star and have it be maybe the same people and then for 20 bucks. Or let me ask you this, YouTube. Imagine this exact same offer, but instead of the uh, legendary romance crystal, imagine if they replaced it with a guaranteed five-star champion of one of the people in the crystal. A five-star champ, they can even take away the five-star hero crystal shards and maybe replace it with like, I don't know, five energy refills or maybe uh, 9,000 tier two alpha catalyst fragments. But for 40 bucks, which I think is about a, a good deal worth at this point given everything we've seen in, in deals in this game, uh, 40 bucks for a guaranteed five-star champion especially if you can land the top five-star champ in this, which given you're going to want a Domino, you're going to want an Emma Frost, right? You're going to want one of those top-tier champions, an Archangel, certainly Black Widow, if you can get her awakened and at a high SIG. So, Kabam, you missed an opportunity. It's a Valentine's Day letdown. And my title of this video is going to be something like that, because it is. It's a Valentine's Day letdown in the contest because you had an opportunity to give us a much better guaranteed value for our money, knowing our money, for a lot of people at least, is going to be spent on something besides the game tonight. And uh, instead, it was just a very routine bundle. Now, I know there are going to be people who 
either don't have access to this or don't care about this who want me to talk about the other deal real quick. This is a worse value than the other one on the left. And the one on the left is a D value, a conservative D value. The one on the right is an F. It is so terrible, especially when you consider that you only have a 20% chance at a four star, but you can limit three. <laughs> four stars in the contest right now should be 10 bucks for a guaranteed four star. To pay $20 for 20% of a four star, it's almost not even worth registering on the grading scale because it's an insult to whoever created the grading system in the first place. So yeah, the ultimate romance bundle, that's like drinking bleach and calling it wine. That is the ultimate way to get yourself in the hospital bundle. And the legendary romance bundle, again, 20 bucks. If you price that thing in half, maybe just for Valentine's Day, I'd say B plus value. It's going to be a fun way to spend 20 bucks on a chance for a five star. And if you get a four star and 2,500 five star crystals for, for 20 bucks, that's about what it should cost you at this point in the game. So you either get a retail good value or an exceptional value for 20 bucks. But to double the price to its normal $40, and Lord help us, because there are going to be people, the same people, it just drives me crazy, the same people who argue that $100 is too much to pay for two and a half tier two alphas and three tier four class catalyst of your choice, plus tier four basics and gold and tier one alphas, which is the January 1st login calendar that so many people gave me pushback for. The same people are going to spend 120 bucks for three chances at a five-star crystal, most of which five stars in that crystal aren't even good, aren't even game-changing. I just don't get it. But there's something about the addiction to crystal spinning in this community. And these bundles are overpriced. The left one is overpriced by twice as much, and the right one is overpriced by four times. I think the right one should be about five bucks, maybe 10 bucks. And the one on the left should be 20 bucks. And the way that economics works is that if you don't allow the supplier to realize that the demand is not where the price point should be, then they're never going to lower the price. And so the only way Kabam will look at these and they'll look at the bottom line, which is all that matters, and they'll say, we got to lower those prices. Valentine's Day did not sell how we thought it would here at the headquarters. People just can't buy this because if you do, then they're just going to keep it this way and we'll be complaining about the price for the next several years and it won't matter because enough people will buy it. So Leave your crystal opening addiction at the door if you really want to utilize these legendary romance crystals and you are uncollected and able to do the epic, then do the epic. And even if it takes a, a few revives and you're going to have to use your three-star void or maybe you have a four-star void, do it. Or maybe five-star options besides void. You know, Guillotine is a great option for that final Deadpool boss who I know is giving quite a few summoners issues either way. It is a Valentine's Day letdown in the contest. I hope that your Valentine's Day, whatever it may be, is a much better uh, experience than these offers, even though, let's be real, that ain't saying much.